Hello and welcome to another edition of Attract Well Office Hours. I'm Coach Ashley and today we are going to get your website done in an afternoon. So we're going to make this easy for you with templates. I'm going to walk through uh, some of the most important pages that you need to have on your site. And if you are here today and have a need for other pages as well, we can certainly talk through what those could look like. But before we get into it, I want to hear from you. Let me know in the chat where you're coming in from. What kind of business do you have? Excited to work with you today and uh, help you get your page up and going. Uh, today we will be sharing, um, I had promised five, but this will actually be six templates for your website. Uh, and uh, and they're all really easy to modify because they're already kind of done for you. You just need to go in and make them your colors, your offers, your copy, your brand. So uh, we'll get into as much of that as we have time to do today. And of course, if you are here today uh, looking for specific help or support with something you're working on in your Attract Well system or just in your business generally, uh, uh, all of those questions are absolutely welcome here. Uh, here on the live Zoom, head over to the Q&A and pop those questions in. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, open up the Q&A and chat here because I am running this call by myself today. Good to have you guys here. Hi, Michelle, expanding your coaching business. Exciting. Love it. Awesome. So, um, all right, I'm going to turn off my video and get into our slides and, uh, and then I'll come back and uh, maybe we'll bring uh, some of us out to chat and to maybe work on some things live in your own site together. Uh, this is a call that is designed for just that, for us rolling up our sleeves and working together on getting things done on your site. So let's, uh, without further ado, get into our topic today, which is our five must-have website templates for coaches and consultants. What we're going to do today is go over these essential pages that you want on your website. I'll talk through uh, kind of what each is used for. And then finally, we will get into the order of operations. Uh, when you are going about creating your own stuff on the internet that needs to link together and do things that you want to you know, behave appropriately, it actually does matter when you build what if you want to save yourself time and headache and having to go back and edit the same thing 27 times. So I'm going to save you some stress and headache here and time, importantly, uh, by uh, showing you the order in which you should be creating and finalizing and connecting these resources. And then finally, I have a checklist for you uh, that you can follow along with, with including templates and more in-depth trainings. So you can use this as a guide to actually sit down for a dedicated time and space and get this stuff done. All right. And then of course we are here for live help and Q&A. If you have any questions as we're going through, please make sure you're putting those into the Q&A here on the live call. And if you haven't yet, let us know what you do. We're always excited to learn more about the folks who join us here. So um, go ahead. Uh, don't be shy about those questions. I am here to help uh, regardless of whether this is something that has to do with business strategy, your, um, you know, your, your brand identity, your copywriting, how your website works, your offers, all of that kind of stuff is welcome here. Um, we are a software platform, but I am a business consultant and have been in the digital space working with coaches consultants, practitioners, and marketers for over a decade. So I'm here to help you. Awesome. So um, if we want to uh, work together on a live call, like the one we have here today, I want you to head over to attractwell office, uh, excuse me, attractwell.com forward slash work reviews on our office hours call, just like the one we're having right now, you are able to actually reserve space to sit down and work together. Uh, Michelle, you asked the, uh, the office hours font that I use on the thumbnail here. I believe it's called Cynthia, S-I-N-T-H-Y-A, and it is in Canva. Pretty positive that's in Canva. Good question. Awesome. So we have social media and email marketing. Susan is an attorney and she coaches attorneys on mental fitness. That's fabulous. Financial education and coaching with Valerie Fat. Thanks, you guys. It's great. All right, so um, if you watch this in the future, hello on YouTube, <laughs> you can join one of these great live calls and meet all the amazing people here if you go to attractwell.com forward slash office hours. All right, so let me ask you guys, for those of us who are here, do you have a fully functioning website up yet for your business? Got some no's, got some yeses. Okay, all right, we're 
a little bit. No, not yet fully. <laughs> there is one <laughs> yeah, that counts, Nicholas. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So anything counts, right? Effort matters. Uh, but you do want to make sure that you have as much of your bases covered as possible. And chances are, if you, you know, haven't been consulting in the digital brand space as I have for a decade, there's probably a lot of stuff that might be new to you that seems kind of face palm obvious once you learn about it, right? So I want to save you the, the face palm moment <laughs> and make sure that you know um, how you can get your stuff set up here without like discovering later that there's something you should have done a long time ago, right? Um, Susan, you, you mentioned your, your website is on Kajabi and you want to move it. We can help you do that. If you want to reach out, support at attractwell.com. We actually have um, migration services if that's something that you're interested in, or we could hop on a call. Uh, you and I could hop on a call and kind of strategize how you want to move that over. That's all open. All right. So let's talk about this. Uh, for those of us who have a website up and running, what pages, what kind of pages do you have on your website? Is it just a homepage or do you have, um, do you have a page for your offers? Do you have an about me page? Like what are the pages that you have developed on your website right now? I think one of the interesting things while we're on this topic here, I think one of the interesting things that um, that you learn as you're developing a website is if the, you try to dive in and create a homepage first, when other things aren't made, things get really frustrating. Can anybody relate to that? If you're building a homepage and it's just a homepage and you have built nothing else yet, Think about it, right? Your homepage is supposed to link to all the other stuff on your website. So if we haven't built the other stuff yet, then the homepage is just, well, we, we, we kind of put the cart before the horse, right? <laughs> I see that happen really frequently. It's, um, we, we typically have a logical approach to how we start uh, creating things for ourselves, for our brand online. And we base that on the third person experience, right? So what does the lead experience? Well, they land on your website and from your website, they go here and they go there. And so you try to build your path based on what you expect them to see, but not thinking about the, the actual function of how the website is supposed to guide your person who is a visitor toward becoming a lead, for instance, right? Awesome. So we have home pages about me, services, scheduling resources. We've got some fully developed sites, it sounds like, and some of us have some pieces. All right, so we're gonna try to round these out today with some templates. And then of course, again, if we have time, uh, we will absolutely um, look into some other template examples that I could share with you for different functions you guys need for your business because no two businesses are truly identical. All right, so here's our list of must-have site pages that I'm providing to you guys here today. The first is a 404 page. This is critical. Uh, this is not something we typically think about, but if somebody types in an address on your website wrong, or God forbid you type something incorrectly in a link, um, somebody clicks it, we want them to go to a correct page, right? Uh, so a 404 page or page not found page, is going to be a very important thing to have in place, right? A website footer. Now we do have a built-in website footer, especially if you go into customize my site and attract well, you can put in all of your social media links and we actually create a really nice looking one for you uh, just in the software on autopilot, right? Well, if you wanna make it your own and you want it to, to behave the way you want it to behave, design the way you want it to be designed, meeting your brand, matching your brand and all, you're gonna to wanna to have your own. You also gonna to wanna to know where to plug it in. A confirmation page is another critical piece. If anybody here is, well, I, and I assume that this is everybody here, you want to attract and convert leads from wherever on the internet on your website, right? You want people <laughs> to find you from wherever they find you and then opt in to be on your email list, right? So one of the things that I've seen people do for years is, is to you know, offer a freebie, right? Offer a lead magnet. But then after somebody opts in, they put their name and email on the page, they send them straight to the lead magnet. Well, this poses one really big problem. And that is that if we're sending someone straight to the freebie after they've entered anything on a form, 
they could enter bunk information and you could have a dead lead on your list and they would still get the free thing that you're offering, right? So a confirmation page is going to be critical to make sure that you're getting good contact information from your leads. And we'll talk about where that plugs in. Uh, then an offer page. I'm going to be sharing with you guys a template for a sales page today, but there's no reason why you can't modify that into a work with me page, right? Or a page that has general information about packages and things that you offer that you might just share privately after somebody has had a call with you. Speaking of a call with you, you want people to be able to book you. And I don't want you to send them off to a calendar booking website. I want them to be on your website. And so there's a way to actually have a booking page on your site that connects to whatever booking service you prefer, be it Calendly, Acuity, Schedule Once, et cetera. And then finally, we do need a homepage. The homepage is the cherry on top. It is the, you know, the, the cell wall of the organism. It is the thing that's on the outside that contains all of the things within it. All right. So these are our site pages. Now let's break these down a little bit further. So our 404 page, and I do see a question over here. Um, do we have to upgrade to get the 404 page? No, you don't. Um, your 404 page is going to be, so by default in your system, uh, your 404 page is technically going to be your AttractWell's website homepage, right? But that's not always the most logical place to send people. Uh, so what we want to do is actually acknowledge that they clicked a broken link or that they typed in a, a link incorrectly or something to that effect, right? Uh, and so, Diane, this would count as one of your pages, right? So depending on your plan level, you may have a limitation on the number of pages that you can create on an account. Uh, and uh, and so you can create a page like this that you can plug in and use as a 404 page. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Michelle, really good question. Um, Attractable does not, it's on our wish list and in development. It's not something that is currently out or advertised or anything like that by us. Um, we would like to have a native scheduler fully functioning and working. It's not something that we currently have. It is very much on the wish list and in the pipeline. A lot of folks would like to have one, uh, but um, you don't have to use a paid service. Uh, so um, I do have a way, and I can talk about this here in just a bit. A lot of my clients will use free Calendly and just have a standard meeting link. So like a 30 minute meeting or a 45 minute meeting. Cause with free Calendly, you do get one booking um, event, right? And you can embed that onto a page in your attract well system. So it is something that's in the pipeline but it's not a realized thing just yet. All right, so website footer. Uh, again, this is something that's already built into your system. There's a standard one, but this is a custom one. Uh, and you do have a template for a custom footer uh, that I'll be sharing with you here today. This is actually something that you design on a page that you are able to then connect inside your system to show up at the bottom of any page that you want a footer to show up on. Um, oh, and this is not a site footer. Sorry, it's an error on my slide here. This is a confirmation page, not a site footer. Um, your confirmation page is where you want to direct people to their inbox and direct them to add your email address to their contacts. So the most important thing that you are accomplishing in having a website is your ability to generate leads, period. In today's day and age, the number one period, end of story, most important function of your website is to capture leads. And if you're going through all of the trouble of getting people to your website and you're allowing them to leave without giving you correct contact information, right? You're, you're, you're dangling a carrot, you're exchanging, you know, hey, I've got a free thing you can have if you give me your email address, right? They give you a bad email address, whether it be in purpose or on purpose or typically an accident. You're completely like you, it's it's everything's for nothing, right? <laughs> like you you did all this work on your website, and now it's you know it's not converting leads correctly. So what you want to do is after anywhere on your website you have um, an opt in, you want to send them to a confirmation page, right? That's where they need to go immediately after they put their name and email on a form and they they press the button. The next thing that they get they're going to need to see is your confirmation page. Now you can use a single confirmation page for just about anything on your site. If you are in one of the plans uh, that we have that has unlimited pages, which is most of them, uh, then you can um, 
you can actually, you know, copy a confirmation page and have one for, you know, maybe somebody paid for something. I, th I think it's a good uh, use case, right? Of a, a new confirmation page would be a pay a purchase confirmation if somebody paid for something on your site. Um, if somebody is a new client and they filled out a form, whatever that might be, right? But generally speaking, especially where lead generation is concerned, having a, a confirmation page like this is going to do a lot for you. Finally, we've got an offer page, uh, which is where you have, and this is actually a pretty extensive sales page that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Um, you can keep it as is and make it your own. You can also delete sections from it and make it more simple. If this is something that you would prefer to position as a work with me page, if you don't have a sales, uh, an offer that you are going to be using a sales page for. Um, and then finally a booking page, which literally is just a page on your attractable site where you have embedded a, um, you've embed embedded a form from a service like in this case calendly all right and then we have our home page and we're so we're going to go through all of these in this checklist and i do want to answer all of your questions as they're coming through uh so we've got our checklist and templates here um i'm not sure if you guys got them in the email that went out so i'm going to go ahead and put the link to these in the chat uh and we're going to go through it together as well so let me go grab that real quick and i'll pop this in and you guys, there are templates for everything in here. Please do try to make sure if you have questions that you're getting those into the Q&A so that I don't miss them. Let me see. Okay, awesome. Here we go. I do have um, supplemental trainings for every single one of these where you can actually go and follow the steps that are in that respective video and a template to go with each of these. Uh, but let me see real quick. Um, what about having a pop-up message that loads that takes someone to a confirmation page? Should we use that feature? So Nicholas, we, on our landing pages, um, you can have a pop-up confirmation message. Um, that's fine. My preference and what I tend to teach is to always send to a confirmation page because you don't know that you got the right contact info from them until they've actually gone and checked their email to find the thing that they asked for from you. And so the confirmation page is always going to say, hey, if you can't find the thing that I just sent to you, get in contact. And there's a contact form right there, a pop-up contact form um, on your website. And I will be showing you that here in just a second. It is challenging connecting everything together, but it matters what order we build this stuff in. And if we build it in the right order, then as we're creating the next new thing, we already know what we're going to connect it to, right? That's why the homepage is the last thing you should build. It's the first thing everyone wants, but it's the last thing you should build because your homepage is a directory to the rest of your website. And so if you don't have anywhere else for them to go, you don't need to build your homepage yet, right? <laughs> All right, didn't have time to go through the checklist. Okay, great. Um, Will these links work after this session? Yes. Um, so Susan, go ahead and grab, you should have received this in the email that I sent out to you prior to going live for this call today, but um, you'll get the replay today as well. And I will put this checklist um, document in the, in the um, description of the YouTube replay. So you'll be able to access these in perpetuity. So let's go over and look real quick. This is the, um, the PDF that I've sent you. It's a tracked well website in five steps. Um, we are first, uh, and we've got a checklist literally for each of these things. And this does, if you click this right here, it is going to take you off to our YouTube channel uh, where you can find the respective training. Uh, so in this case, we talk about the 404 page. Um, you can click right here and claim the resource bundle, which we will find here in just a second. If you're signed into your AttractWell account, this is going to load a page where you can check a couple of boxes. I don't know why my computer is so slow today. Um, you can check a couple of boxes real quick, and then you can claim the 404 page into your account. There we go. So if you check the box, you click claim bundle, it's going to take you to a page that you can edit. The 404 page looks like this. Um, what I've done here is I've sent them to, I'm offering them to go to the home page, but as you'll find in the training uh, here, when you watch this video, there are a number of different things that you can connect to um, from that 404 page. So here, let's take a look at it real, real quick. 
So real simply, you're just going to go in and swap the image out. Uh, with all of these bundles, there are also Canva templates that you can use. So if you like this ostrich head in the sand, sort of a reverend, fun image, and you just want to make it look more like your brand colors, uh, then you can use this template that I have. Or like, sky's kind of the limit here. 404 pages are usually... Um, a little funny, a little irreverent, uh, because we're acknowledging that somebody made an oopsie and we're sending them in a new direction. So um, you could make a list here and link off to your blog, uh, any offers, just wherever somebody might uh, potentially be looking for something on your website. So that's our 404 page. Uh, our footer uh, is another one that we're going to work on here as well. And that's good. You're going to find this down at the, where did it go? Is it not at the bottom of this one? Let me go find the footer and show you guys what that looks like. I believe it's this one. And again, there's a whole video teaching you how to make these modifications, changing the background color, uh, you know, adding images, that kind of thing. Um, oh, I don't want a background image here. Why is it doing that? I want none. There we go. So, um, so yeah, you can actually go through and, you know, use my Canva templates here to, uh, you know, create social media icons and your brand colors and so on. So there is a training again, in greater detail on the footer and that 404 page. Let me show you, this is important though. Once you have those two pages done, you're going to want to go over to customize my site. And you're going to want to plug them in. So right here, the site page footer, you're going to want to look for footer and add that. And then the 404 page, you're going to want to look for that and then save your changes so that these things are now active on your website, right? And these are just so quick and easy uh, to get done. The next thing that you want to get done is your confirmation page. Again, crazy simple. Let's go look at the confirmation page which is this one. This is the one you're going to be getting. I have a gift here. You can leave everything here exactly as it is. If you don't feel very comfortable with design and you don't really want to make a lot of changes to this. I do have in the resource bundle for this footer, um, a Canva template that does have this GIF in it. Uh, and of course you can make any modifications, change it to whatever you want. A lot of my clients will just put a nice picture of themselves or their brand logo right here. Um, if you are using a confirmation page like this for um, an offer that someone is paid for, if you have a logo for that offer, you could put that here as well. But um, again, this is all already like coded up. You could plug this into your site right now and use it and you don't have to make any changes because basically it says what you asked for is on its way to you now. But first, you're going to want to add my email address to your contacts, right? Because I need to be whitelisted. I don't want to land in your spam or promotions folder. But if you don't see an email from me soon, get in touch. And this little button right here is actually coded to hashtag contact, which means that a pop-up contact form will appear on the page when someone um, clicks it. So let's look at that real quick. I'll show you. And this will look exactly the same in your site as it does here. So if I go to get in touch, you can see whatever your picture is in, in my story and photo is going to show up here. And then whatever contact information that you've shared will show up as well. All right. So let's talk about where this confirmation page gets plugged in. So I'm showing right here uh, two places on your website where a confirmation page would go. There is one more place that I want to show you. It's a bit more advanced. But um, let's just say you have an offer. And let me go into our dummy account here and show you guys something a little more accurate. Okay, so if I go into my landing pages under this account, let's say for this person, they are giving away three ways being crunchy can change your life, right? And this is a guide, it's a freebie. So if we're going to edit this, when we're setting it up, under settings, we can put all this information in here, right? You know, setting up how do we want to tag them? What emails do we want to send after they opt in, et cetera? Um, Nicholas, this is where you would do a pop-up message after registration if you wanted it. 
Um, but my recommendation again is to go to this website custom page right here to confirmation, right? So as soon as they opt in, it says, hey, the thing's on its way to you. Can't wait for you to get it. But first add me to your inbox or add me to your contacts. And if you don't see anything from me in the next five minutes, right? Um, but then what you're doing is whatever your freebie is, you got to send it in the campaign, right? That's how you make sure that you're getting the best leads possible off of your website. Don't send them straight to the freebie, put the freebie in the first email of your campaign, attach that campaign here, and then send them to your confirmation page. The other place that you could do this, um, Camelia, I'm not sure that I understand what you're asking to see. Can you show how to do uh, what specifically? Like how, like what it looks like when you opt in and you go to the next page? Happy to show, just wanna make sure that I'm clear. All right, so under pages, you can also have landing page forms, right? So you have dedicated landing pages that are great to use for just very simple, straightforward purposes. Sometimes you want to embed a pop-up form or an embedded form on a page that has more information on it. That's a little bit more designed. And so this is, let me find like a freebie or something. Well, actually this, this homepage template has a freebie. So what we have here, she's offering a challenge. And so you can see that the button here has hashtag lead. And this is the homepage template you're receiving today, by the way. Uh, when you have hashtag lead, the lead box is going to pop up and you can control that under settings leads. And then of course you put whatever information you want in the pop-up here, but then finally, where do we want them to go after they've opted into this thing? We want them to go to confirmation. And then of course, whatever this challenge is, I'm gonna to need to send her, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send her information, the person who opts in via this campaign that will start sending immediately out once they have opted in, all right? Final thing, and again, this is a little bit advanced. If you are using automations, so let's just say for instance, you have a, um, Let's say for instance, you have an email campaign and you wanna do some conditional response marketing. So let's just say for instance, somebody opted into your primary lead nurture campaign and they're getting a series, drip series of emails where um, you know, you're letting them get to know you, whatever. And then you've got a fork in the road, right? Where you wanna know, are they interested in this thing or are they interested in this thing? Or maybe you don't, keep sending them more promotional stuff unless they indicate interest, right? So what you can do there is put a link into that uh, one, I don't know, the fifth email message or however you wanna set it up. And that link can trigger a number of different things. And that is an automation. So maybe with that automation, you wanna be reminded to follow up with somebody, in which case you will have your automation um, apply a follow-up plan. Maybe you want to give that contact a new tag, or maybe you want to start dripping a new series of emails to them, right? So let's just say we're going to do that. So we've got our basic nurture campaign, but they've indicated interest in something that is like a limited time offer or something that you're really promoting. And you want the people who are interested to start getting sales messages from you. So you've got a sales campaign. Let's pretend this is it, all right? So we add this action. Now, when you embed this, automation as a link in your campaign, campaign one, the nurture campaign, when someone clicks it, they got to go somewhere, right? Now, again, by default, they're going to be sent to your website, homepage of your website, which is kind of out of context, most likely from whatever the link was that they clicked in the email, right? So what you can do here is under advanced options, you can take that confirmation page and put it right here. So they were in their inbox. They clicked a link because they're like, yeah, I want to get whatever that information is. So they clicked it. Now they're going to a page on your website. This is, hey, I'm going to send it to you. Keep an eye out. If you don't see it, click here, right? And, uh, and then, of course, they would start receiving those new email messages. I hope that that makes sense because <laughs> it's a lot. It's a bit more advanced. All right. Uh, 
The third piece here is to set yourself up for sales. That is with an offer page. We do have a great sales page training here along with the resource bundle, pre-made, show you how to set it up to take payment and everything. If you would prefer to have a work with me page uh, where you aren't necessarily um, going to just sell to anybody who decides to purchase something, right? Maybe you have a little bit more gatekeeping in place uh, before someone can become a customer or client of yours. Uh, in, in which case you could have a work with me page. You could use the same template here, uh, but just you know remove some of the stronger calls to action, the breakdown in pricing and things like that. And your call to action may be for them to schedule a call with you, right? Uh, and so uh, in that case, he would treat that a little bit differently. And we do have trainings as well um, in this next step where we do talk about discovery call funnels. Now your call booking page is going to be taught. Uh, how you actually set that up is taught right here in this training with a discovery call funnel. And it is in the context of um, actually having an intake form uh, where people apply for a call with you. They you know, put information onto a page uh, prior to you um, actually sitting down with them and then potentially making an offer on a call. Uh, so the booking page you'll find here, what that looks like is this, right? It is just on the same website, looks the same as your website. You can embed this, you can have colors elsewhere on the page, you can have a background, it can look however you want. Uh, but the entire experience is going to be right there on the same page, right? And so that is your booking page. And then finally, we have our homepage template, and we do have a full training on this, including a resource bundle, Canva templates you can use. You can basically just follow along, change out the words for your words, swap out the images for your images, swap out the colors for your colors, and so on. Just please, pretty please, wait to make your homepage until you have the stuff you want your homepage to point to made. Right. And if those are things that aren't actually in the pipeline yet, they're still sort of up here and you're not ready to bring them to life. They're not things that are actually currently functioning in your business. Then just make um, make a page that has an offer to get in touch with you and have that be your home page for now and then add the other stuff later. Um, it really can get overwhelming if we start trying to create things for functions of our business that don't yet exist. Right. Like if you've got a hopeful, eventual thing for your business that you have in mind, that's awesome. But if you don't have a practical use, it's going to be kind of challenging to come up with a solution um, to to actually create that thing. Does that make sense? If, if we're starting from nothing, right, if we don't have an operating thing in our business that we need this for, um, then we don't really know what it needs to do. And we don't really know what it needs to look like. So the easiest solution typically when you're feeling overwhelmed is just return to what you know you're supposed to be doing to run the business you know, the run, run the business you have, and then create tools that help you to run that business better and then add on from there. Because if you dive off in the deep end and you don't even know what a ladder looks like, you're going under, right? <laughs> All right, so we've got some good questions here. Um, uh, coming back to you, Camelia, when you put those items who spoke about where to get the freebie link, et cetera. Okay, so, um, the, so what we're talking about here, and actually, Camelia, there is a training. I know you're a Get Oiling user. There is a training um, at, I'm going to type this in, uh, getoiling.com forward slash get leads. What I'm talking about there is, um, is a funnel. So like using a landing page, uh, sending them to an offer and, and, you know, nurturing that, um, that new lead with a campaign. I teach that in depth and very sort of, you know, short, easily digestible steps inside of that mini course and get oiling. I think that's probably, if you haven't gone through that yet, um, if you're just getting started with this, that's going to be a, a really great place to start just to get a, a handle on things. Okay. Um, is it only one lead and one hashtag contact per page? Um, you could put the hashtag contact anywhere on any button on any page. There's only one contact form that's ever going to pop up and it's the system generated one that's going to have your photo from the my story and photo section of your attract well site. Uh, and any of the contact information that you've put in to include on your website. 
Now for the hashtag lead for a button pop up, there is only one lead form available per page. Um, and so you can have that as a pop up, you can have that embedded, but you do also have the opportunity to point them off to other pages. So if you're if you have a call to action, maybe at the top of the page, and that's a pop up, um, you could have um, you could have a button somewhere else on the page that sends them to another page with it with another pop up or to a landing page and so on. Um, how do we import things from Canva? Michelle, this is a really good question. We have a button inside of AttractWell that helps you do that. Uh, let me find an editable page here for that and I'll show you. Um, I think I have a 404 page in this account. Yes, I do. Okay, here, I'm gonna go and share my screen with you guys. Okay. So here is a 404 page, right? Maybe this background is too busy. So if the background's too busy, we can change it out. So I'm gonna click our little pencil here and click change background image. And then there's this button right here, add design from Canva. So I'm gonna click that. Now it is important to kind of have an idea of what the Canva uh, design preset sizes are. Um, for something like a background of a page, type in the word banner, it helps to spell it correctly. So blog banner or LinkedIn banner, either of these work. So I'm going to open Canva. Sometimes it'll make you read a cookie policy and promise that you're okay with it. All right, so then if I want to add maybe a different photo, I'll use these daisies. I'm going to set that as the image background and send it to attract well. There is one uh, specific limitation, or actually there's two that I'm aware of uh, with Canva's integration feature. There we go, there it is, pop it in and it's there. And why don't we make that actually stand out a little more by, here we need to edit this section here real quick. Do you see how we can't really read it? So I'm highlighting all of this area here and I'm gonna give it opacity and some padding. Anyway, so um, limitations in Canva are going to be, you can't, um, you can't save an image with a transparent background using a Canva integration button. You need to do that from your Canva account separately. So if you need something that's like nice and circular or something with no uh, color background, you're gonna wanna do it that way. And then if you have PDF documents that are more than one page, Canva does not allow for more than a single page at a time. So in some cases it does make sense. If it's like just little images on your website backgrounds in particular, it's so easy to just use the Canva button and not have to go and create something entirely new. Good question. All right, Mary, can I switch my current pages in my Attractable account, which is on hold to another company name and website? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, so, uh, I mean, you have an existing site. It really just, it kind of depends on whether you feel like the work that you've done or the list that you've built or any of the assets that are in your previous Attractwell account are applicable to the work you'll be doing moving forward. If you feel like they are, and maybe some of those pages would be great templates uh, for other offers and things that you have moving forward, then it's really easy to rebrand your Attractwell site uh, to make it your own. You will have to go and redesign and remake those pages. If you want to reuse them, you could also just delete them. Uh, but yeah, you can connect a different URL, a different email, 100%. No problem with that at all. And sorry to hear that. All right, uh, Camelia says, since I've given my general get oiling address out a bit prematurely to a special interest group, how can I direct this group access only to their section? Better yet, how can all that would come to my page only go to their section, even though it is all on the general page? So um, what you could do, since you've really only shared your website with a set group of people, is you could change your homepage to just the information that those people would be looking for. And then start creating a new home page that you want, the actual one that you want, that just has a section that speaks to those people clearly, right? Um, and they should be able to find it just fine if they're there on the site. You could also put um, a menu item in your website menu that point them to that page as well. I'm glad you find the outline helpful. 
Glad you're here today. All right, Karen says, I'm opening my yoga studio officially, congrats, and wondered if there is some way in a trackball to have a digital check-in or sign-in process. Yes, yes, yes. So um, landing pages in kiosk mode. Let's go look. So um, maybe you can dangle a little carrot, let them know that they'll get like a free, I don't know, chakra guide or something like that if they opt, if they sign themselves in. But what you would do is you would go over here under website, you go to landing pages. We'll create a new one. There's a simple short form right here. Maybe put your yoga studio logo here and say, um, welcome, register below for today's class and you'll get this freebie, right? Whatever that is, right? Put their information in here um, and then say, um, you know, I consent to receiving emails about this class, right? Or something like that, right? I, I agree that I want my freebie. Okay, you can change the button here, Res register for class. And then under settings, you do maybe want to send an email if you want to, right? Hey, thanks for coming to class. And you would need to go and create a new campaign and attach it right here. We would also want to call this class registration, for instance, and then uh, whatever that class register. So class registration, and then put the date, right? Something like that. Or however you would want to find these people in the future. So put a tag in there so that you can sort them out. And uh, you don't really have to worry about anything else here because when we save this and we go back to our landing pages list, there's this thing called kiosk mode, right? And so this class registration, I'm gonna click kiosk mode right here. And what happens is, is when they put in their information, it refreshes the page and the next person right behind them in line can do the same. So that's what you wanna do. You wanna use a landing page and just use this kiosk mode here. And you can use this as well uh, if anybody ever does like vendor events, if you ever set up tables at expos, you wanna get people signed up for your email list in, in an in-person setting. Uh, you're maybe hosting an in-person class or, or workshop or something like that. And you wanna either take registration or have people sign up for your list, get a freebie, whatever. This kiosk mode is uh, is what you want to use that for. Great question. <laughs> awesome, Nicholas. You learned something new today. All right, let's see. Okay, Camelia, I was trying to figure out how to get more picture options to choose from from Canva or my own pictures to use on my site I'm building. So if you have Canva Pro, which is just, it's kind of a no brainer investment. It's like a hundred bucks a year or a little over a hundred bucks a year. And you get just an astronomical amount of resources available to you to use uh, for your marketing and for your website and so on. Um, there are other resources out there like uh, unsplash.com, which I've just typed in here. Um, and if you guys, if anybody here, if you have any other uh, suggestions for free images, uh, royalty free images, you can also Google royalty free images if you want to find um, things that you would. Pexels, yes, thank you. I forgot about that one. Pexels.com is another good one. Perfect. So that would be another place to look, Camelia. All right, Michelle says, when you were working on making adjustments, the side box opened. I can't access the margins at the bottom. Where is the scroll bar? I know this one's odd. Can't figure out how to move through to the bottom. Michelle, I'm not sure I know what you mean. Can you raise your hand for me real quick? And um, and maybe I can bring you out to let me know what you're talking about so we can look at it. Hey. Okay. All right. Can you hear yes. me? I can, yes. Okay. So I know this sounds really strange, but when you were showing me how to bring in Canva, that little side box, you know, where you're doing the padding and all of yes, that, making yes. those adjustments, right? Mm -hmm. That little side box opens up 
And I've noticed that when I was working on this yesterday, like I would see margin at the bottom, but it's covered. When I hit my scroll bar, see you're using a scroll bar. I can't get that scroll bar. It won't get, it won't, it's like attached to my scroll bar or something. So what you're able kind to use- of, What kind of device are you on? I'm on my PC. Okay. Um, With a mouse? Chrome. Yes. Okay. Does your mouse have like a wheel or like a Yes. Okay. So it's it's not moving with your with the wheel there? Yeah, when, the only one that I can could find was the uh, the only one that it's moving is my one on the page. So it it ends up moving like the daisy page. I see. I see. Okay. So this, this may be potentially a bug and it's something to, to bring to support's attention. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So de definitely yeah. shoot an email to support it at Cause sometimes, you know, browser updates do weird stuff. And, and yeah, that I used okay. to have an issue on, cause I'm on a Mac. I would type something into the search bar and it would scroll the page instead of scrolling the list. And so sometimes it's just a weird thing that happens. So definitely okay. let support know. Perfect. And now that you've shown me how to do that, that it that it works, I can move through there, then it might be something that maybe I'm doing, I can figure out or I'll take it to support. So thank you for right. that. I know yeah. it seemed odd. So thank it's, you. It's okay. I just want to make sure I knew what you meant. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Awesome. All right. What else? Oh, I'm so excited, Melody. Yes. Let's get it done. All right, how do we access the resource bundle you mentioned today? Um, so if you go to, I'm gonna put it in our uh, in our chat again here and you will find it in the description for today's replay. Uh, it's a, this is actually a link that is, uh, it's on the Attractwell site. Uh, it's got a lot of numbers in front of it, uh, but that you can kind of see it says website in five steps. <laughs> so this document, uh, and I'll share it with you again here. When you click that link, whether it be from the YouTube description, from our chat here, from the email that was sent to you earlier, um, there are a lot of clickable things here, right? So this resource bundle where it's underlined, when you click here, it's going to take you actually to the resource bundle for this page. Uh, so if I click here, it'll actually take me straight over to, if you're, make sure you're signed into your Attractwell account. Uh, and then you're gonna want to check this click this, and now you've got that resource. And you can do that for all of the resources that we have uh, here on our call today. And each of these thumbnails, if you click them, they will take you to their respective YouTube video uh, where you can learn more um, about the sort of ins and outs of those particular pages and resources. All right, Karen, when I want to email out to share my yoga with previous yoga clients, I would wanna make and share a sales page. So is this would be advertising your new studio? Yes, okay. So I assume you're probably gonna wind up making a homepage for your new studio, but if maybe you have a special offer for your previous students, um, maybe you make a little special offer page for them, or maybe there's a discount code or something like that. And then yeah, you email that out to them. By all means, you could send them to your homepage, sure. But yeah, send them to a sales page. If you have something to sell, they're previous, like they're people who bought from you before. Those are the best people to try to sell something to are people who already bought something from you. All right, Sharon says, my site is 90% completed. Can I get a review slash tips when I think I'm done? 100%. Yeah, um, Sharon, if you go to attractwell.com forward slash work review, you're gonna be able to reserve dedicated space for us to dig into as much as you want to on a call like this one in the future. And if you forget to do it and you're here next week and we got, it seems like we got time, you could always ask and, and we could do it. We do have just about 10 minutes left and a lot of really good questions today. Uh, so if we do have time and you want to look at it today, maybe we can, uh, but that invite is always open. It doesn't matter what percentage of done you feel like you are. Uh, we could always uh, get eyes on what you're doing and, you know, proof, yeah, proof click, not proofread, proof click, and uh, and and help you make sure it is ready to launch. Okay, Melody, um, can one move a funnel from ClickFunnels to attract well, or does one have to start over from scratch? That's an interesting question. So a funnel is 
different depending on where you build it. However, the funnel really is just a series of pages, automations that connect to email, tags in the system, that kind of thing. The substance of the funnel, like the copy, the words that you use, the images that you use, those are transferable, right? So if you have, uh, you know, a Kajabi or a ClickFunnels or a whatever account, um, what I would do is maybe pre-publishing before you go live with your Attractable account, wherever your website is, um, take the stuff, like basically mimic the design of, of if you liked it, <laughs> of your previous one uh, in Attractwell. And then of course, make sure that, you know, use like a Google doc or something like that to grab all of the copy from your emails and so forth. But yeah, most, most systems don't have directly transferable um, asset connections like that because the software is generally written differently. So like, for instance, if you were using uh, MailChimp before us or Flowdesk or something like that to send your emails, the personalization tags, not the same. So if you put like the whole like percentage first name, whatever that they use on some of those platforms, and you just pasted that into an attract well email, somebody's going to see that really weird code <laughs> in their email. So some of this is like stuff that you're going to have to redo, uh, but it's not from scratch, right? Because you already have something made. So I would encourage you to, and we could do this on an upcoming call if you'd like, um, you know, break open the funnel that you have over there and then talk about where you put what and how you set it up in your Attractable account. We are 100% open to doing that work alongside you here on these calls. That's really their purpose is, is to help, you know, kind of get over that hump wherever it is in your business. Ooh, adding fonts. That's a good question. <laughs> That's not my expertise personally. Uh, there is a, um, let me show you where to find the answers for this. I tried to do this myself recently and I wound up having to ask the team. The team is available to help you if you have custom fonts. Here's the first thing that you wanna know about fonts. If you go to colors and fonts here and you scroll down, you can actually choose from built-in fonts that we have here. These are all Google fonts. They're all free. You don't have to pay for new fonts. But you could also go to customize my fonts or customize my site rather. And then if you scroll down, you'll find setup fonts. And here you can select from even more Google fonts that are available. So I really encourage you to make your life easier uh, to select the fonts that you want to use from fonts.google.com because they're free and they're already here. And all you have to do is check a box. But if you're wanting to import a, um, a font that you maybe use on Canva that you purchased from an artist or something like that, that's going to happen down here. And I can tell you, I always need help with it. All you have to do is click here and go to fonts and search, and you're going to see custom fonts right here. There are instructions. If you have trouble, please reach out to the team and they can help you. Um, Cause you, you might need it. I always do. <laughs> okay. Uh, Melody, can, I, I can make emails and attract well. Aweber is what is connected to ClickFunnels. Yeah. The only things that you really need with attract well are Canva because everybody kind of needs Canva because you don't want to have to like have a graphic designer on staff. Um, Vimeo. Uh, or Wistia. Vimeo is what I prefer uh, because we don't host video. And uh, if you take one-on-one -on -one calls for now until we have our own built-in, uh, Calendly or Acuity or whatever you prefer, I like Calendly again, because if you just really have like 30 or 40 minute meetings, you can put that into your funnels and use that same booking event for whatever you want and customize the experience. And you could use the free, um, the free Calendly that way. So those are the only, only things that you need that aren't us. So your emails are with us, your, your website, your um, your entire funnel structure, right? Unless you have a video, but, and then you're embedding that onto a page anyway. So that's that's it. Yeah, you don't need Aweber. You don't need any of that. One price for all the stuff. Okay. Looks like we got another question before we go. All right, Nicholas, uh, I have one of my domains linked to Attractwell. How do we link multiple domains for our Attractwell account to create multiple pages? So technically, and 
forgive me, I don't really like I'm I'm not um I'm not like a web tech native. Uh, so I don't know the correct verbiage for this and Greg's on vacation. So um, basically the connection of a domain to an AttractWell account is a one domain per account thing, right? So you can connect a domain to AttractWell and everything on your AttractWell site is that domain forward slash whatever, right? Or forward slash members, page, landing page, whatever. However, and, and I see people do this often, especially if you have branded offers. So let's just say for instance, um, I have, who will I talk about here? I have Megan, who is, uh, she's a Young Living brand partner. She is an affiliate marketer. So she's got income from, um, from social selling and from uh, affiliate marketing. Well, she also like, so she has her Megan Elaine Inc. website, right? It's got her story, it's speaking to her people. She's blogging there. It's her brand. She is her brand, right? She has an offer that she created, this program called the Healing Barn Movement, right? And she's, it's got its own sales page. You know, she's got a, a vault and everything for it. She uses healingbarnmovement.com, but all she does is she points the domain to it. So once people go, like you can write, type in healingbarnmovement.com and then you're going to find a sales page, but it's going to be on megadelaining.com. So if, if that makes sense. So if you have multiple businesses that truly need their own SEOable domains, then you're going to want to have more than one AttractWell account for those different things. However, um, you can always just go into your domain man manager if you own another domain and just point that to one of your AttractWell pages. I hope that that made sense. It's definitely not my zone of genius. <laughs> um, could you explain a video workflow for Vimeo to put a video in a vault or on my public page on my website? Yeah, this is actually really simple, Cheryl. Um, two ways to do this. Of course, you do wanna have the URL from Vimeo ready, um, which you can do really simply because you just grab the link, uh, pretty self-explanatory. I don't think, I'm signed into a client's Vimeo right now, so I, I don't want to go and like share their stuff, but um, but have your Vimeo URL ready. And then there's two ways that you can do this. Uh, of course, if you are in your online classes and you want to like put a video into a lesson, uh, you're going to go to, let me see, here's this one. Just pretend like this one has video. It doesn't. Uh, you create a new lesson. And there's actually a field right here where you embed that Vimeo link and it's there and, and you're, that's literally it and you're good to go. If you have multiple videos and this editor shows up everywhere on our site, so it's gonna be the same if you're putting this on a page or a blog post or whatever. Obviously you can't send video via email, that's just not a thing. Uh, but anyway, there is this insert video button right here. And again, you can just paste in the URL there and it's gonna pop the video up. Now, if you're using Vimeo and you wanna use the mobile responsive code, right? They actually have an embeddable mobile responsive setting, which does look really nice on a page. Then you're gonna to wanna to copy that code, click the insert video button wherever you are on your site, a homepage, a blog post, whatever. And you're just gonna, instead of clicking the link and pasting in your link, you're just gonna paste in the code. And then it's going to show show up wherever you have your cursor where you where you pop that up. Good question. Good question. Um, Zoom, uh, yes, yeah, Zoom is included with your AttractWell account. Zoom meetings, and uh, you'll be able to see the the maximum number of uh, attendees uh, based on your AttractWell plan. So yes, I use it pretty. Uh, I use it exclusively and like all the time, and it's all just the included AttractWell one, and it's great. Um, so yes, you can use Zoom. Make sure I didn't miss any questions. Oh, thank you. We're glad you're impressed. We are excited to have cool people in this community. Um, okay, so you dislike your domain name. <laughs> All right. You definitely don't have to keep your domain name. If you don't like it, just shoot a message over to us and we can show you how to create it. Uh, the, you know, whatever the new one is that you want. All right, we are, yeah, we are happy to support you. We're excited that you're here today. I uh, love the turnout today and all of the amazing questions. I hope that you use this checklist and you go build something incredible. And if you want to show and tell next week, let us know. If you want hand holding, if you want some help, let us know. It's all open and available to you. 
And, uh, and of course, if you have requests for certain types of training in the future, don't hesitate, support it at travel.com. Let us know. We might create something special just for you. All right. I hope you guys have a great week and, uh, and a great uh, holiday weekend if you're here in the States and we will see you next Thursday, 2 PM. Take care guys.